Okay, we're here at the Alien Isolation stall. Uh, both myself, Lee, and Sam behind the camera have taken 10 minutes on the demo, is it? Yeah. 10 minutes to uh, delve into the Alien Isolation world. Um, quite frankly, I was scared out of my wits, but with us we have... Uh, my name is Nee, I'm Community Manager for Alien Isolation. And what can we, although the demo is different from the actual game, isn't it? Yes, it's, yes. How, how different is it exactly? What are so, we experiencing here? That we're... What you've just played is Survivor Mode, okay. which is uh, outside of the Story Mode campaign. Uh, we'll be uh, shipping a, uh, a demo of it in, the, uh, in, each, in every copy of the yeah. game uh, that's going to be coming out on October the 7th. Um, so how it's different is it's, it's much more condensed and the experience that you're getting is, is uh, more intense in many ways. It's a small area of the map, there's just one map, you've got to escape it from uh, the entrance to the exit. It's within the Nostromo, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, it's on, it's on a separate station, it's not on the Nostromo, oh, okay, okay. it's on a new station called Sevastopol, which is where Amanda's story um, takes place for the whole entire of Alien Isolation. Um, so, yeah, survival mode, you've got to escape through there the fastest time possible. There's submissions that you can kind of like play in order to get um, the higher points with which you can go onto the leaderboard with. Um, but the, uh, the main point of it is to escape and to survive because uh, the only distraction that the alien has got in survival mode is you. Yeah. So you are his main priority. You're the only thing in his vision and in his life at that point. That's what it felt like. As soon as, I don't know about you, Lee. As soon as I dropped into the, 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 the survival world, I felt immediately there was no time to think. You were told in front of you with what you, with, you was given your motion tracker. You've got an option of taking a flamethrower. Yeah. You don't cause a distraction. Instantly, I didn't know what to do, and I literally panicked. And within the first minute, <laughs> yelped like a little girl. Like, and, and I, everyone seemed to hear me straight away. Um, See, my, sorry, my my method when I first started was to get the flamethrower yeah. and then hide in a locker, and that's uh, what I decided to do for the first cut that. Uh, Ten minutes, so well, five minutes. I was just stuck in lock, and it just came past, like, past me. Yeah. And I think I was breathing too loud. They found me, and then that was it. Now, yeah. when it comes to survival, survival horror seems to be a very, a very, I don't know, popular genre mm. of game in recent years. Just from maybe possibly even YouTube celebrities yeah. and themselves playing like the likes of Amnesia and the Last of Us and stuff. As well, at the same time, the Aliens franchise, all right, mixing in with the Predator, hasn't been successful in them in a few years, if not each and every product. Like, for instance, the last one we had was Aliens Colonial Marines. Fell flat on its ass entirely. When it came to Alien Isolation, did you guys feel that you had a lot of anticipation to? So, um, we've actually been working on Alien Isolation now for well over four years. So, it's not a fact that, you know, a lot of people know. So, we were working along the same time that ACM was, like, yeah. being rolled out. So we're a separate studio, um, we're Creative Assembly, uh, and so, Gearbox Software, and Gearbox, totally different uh, developers. So we've been working on this, like I said, over four years. So we've been flying very low under the radar, working on it. And from the get-go, we were very much like, right, we want to create a game that is going to draw all of its inspiration from the first film, which yeah, is Ridley Scott's Alien. We want to go back to that 70s world where everything's really like lo-fi and really clunky and chunky yeah. and manual. Everything's like a, a, an absolute labor to achieve. Everything feels like it's much, much harder to get you know, working. And we really love the whole entire like we love the first film we literally watch the film on repeat in the studio we have it on the screens <laughs> literally we've got them on the screens they play them all the time and we studied it inside out we're like how do we get a game to have that same impact as that first film we were like right we want to survive a horror yeah. uh, we want to obviously to have the same atmosphere the same tension and the same story and obviously as well we didn't want to lose the character of Ellen Ripley yeah so we said right uh, let's look at like what else we can work with. So basically, uh, Alien Isolation is set 15 years after the original events of the first film. Um, it follows the story of Amanda Ripley, Ellen yep. Ripley's daughter, yep. and it's her growing up without knowing anything about what happened to her mother. Waylon Yutani then uh, approach her and they say, right, uh, we found the black box of the Nostromo. We need you to um, it's been recovered, it's been taken to the station. Do you want to come with us and find out what happened to your mum? And obviously she says yeah. yes. yes uh, but then she lands and, and very quickly discovers that there's something on the station. It's been hunting and killing people. The population is very rapidly dwindling. Um, no one knows what's going on because it's hunting out in the dark. Everyone's absolutely terrified. So Amanda's situation is pretty dire. She's completely underpowered. She's completely underprepared. She's got to try and find out what happened to her mother, survive the alien, survive the crumbling station because basically it's been decommissioned yeah. so it's like almost falling apart there's desperate survivors who are really twitchy nervous and tense and then there's the synthetics on board who are following a very set programming 
So she's got a, a load of stuff against her that she's got to try and really survive. And that's what it is. It's about like how do you get through that situation it's and one, find out the truth. It's one thing that felt original, when I've tried other survival horror games, it feels the story is very, very linear and almost as if you're triggering the scares in the sense of you need to get to this certain point in the map and then something's going to happen. Right. Whereas Alien Isolation, to me, comes across as, although there's a story that's yes. there to follow, anything's going to happen. If you knock that barrel over absolutely. there, that could be absolutely, absolutely. anything. As absolutely. soon as I started the game, I said I was hiding in a locker. The music started and I was automatically cacking myself. <laughs> I mean, the main doors hadn't even opened to the yeah. that I was in. Oh, but were you music, not even out of the no, main doors? No, just straight, <laughs> straight in there. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm just I got out to turn right and ended up with a tail straight oh, through yeah. it. That's what ended up yeah. making me yell. But the music, I mean, yeah. I was just, I said I was sitting there. And the, it wasn't until the second time I played, I realised the doors didn't yeah. actually open. But that music just got me, yeah. and I was just like, fuck, yeah, he's, so he's right there, he's gonna get me. Two interesting <laughs> things, to your point um, about it, sort of like, you don't know quite what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yes, I mean, we're a, a single player, first person, story mode driven campaign. I mean, the whole entire point is to find out the truth about uh, Ellen Ripley following yeah. Amanda's steps. So the story is very focused on Amanda. But the AI is completely, well, pretty much completely unpredictable. Yeah. Oh, so he yeah. does his own thing. Yeah. We have no control over him. Like sometimes when we're playing a new level, it's as much as a new thing for he's us. There at the front door, and like. we have no idea what he's going to do. So you can't replay the same level in the same way because he's totally, he's going to be off doing his own thing. And like you say, maybe something else has distracted him further on. He's off there. Or suddenly you come through a door, you accidentally kick over a box. He'll be like, what's that? Yeah. And he's over there. So he's constantly hunting you down so he knows that you're there and he'll learn from you so if you start favoring a certain device the first few times he'll be a bit like what's going on and then the next few times he's like wait a minute i know this pattern and he learns from you so he'll then start <laughs> to think fantastic. and then he starts to think right okay this happened before i'm gonna actually track that down and find the source of that and then he'll turn around yeah. and he'll try and figure you out so he's super smart so it's very hard to outsmart him and the challenge is how do you outmaneuver something so Primal yeah, and yeah. so, so fierce and intelligent. You have to constantly evolve the way you play exactly, the game. So exactly, exactly. Every playthrough is probably different. Exactly, and then to your point, like the music, uh, because we were so inspired by the first film, we wanted to be really authentic. So we went to take a look at the first film. We worked alongside Fox. They sent us like um, three, uh, like gigabytes or whatever of this uh, like old archive of all the film stuff and we looked at Jerry Goldsmith's score and we said okay well the film's an hour and a half how do we stretch that experience yeah. and make it as tense and as frightening yeah. so we worked alongside with loads of like different artists and we took that score and basically adapted it and what we've done is we've wired the audio and the sound to the aliens AI as well so um, when he's near and he's clumping along near you, you'll suddenly, I, I mean, I don't know if you will notice, because at that point you're supposed to be absolutely gripping yourself and cowering in a corner, but you'll notice the music starts building up and it gets really like like a proper crescendo. And then when he's like stomping off away and you think, oh, you've got a moment, the music starts dying down, then also it'll be back because yeah. he's turned back round. So it is designed to be a very intense experience. His footsteps, as soon as I started hearing yeah. him, I thought, no, so I quickly ran, yeah. oh, this set another time, ran and hid in the little um, turb yeah. Yeah. turbine and he just dragged me out. Yeah. So it's absolutely well, great. the thing with the motion tracker is it's not the perfect device mm. and so if he's completely stationary still, that means he disappears off the radar. So you could easily go around the corner and find him there. And then sometimes when the dot is like, you think, oh, he's going to be right in front of me, but you don't see him, it means he's in the vents. Oh. And that's anywhere above you or yeah. beneath you on the side. Can actually go beneath Yeah, there, well. there are vents underneath you in the ship. But he can, so, I'm assuming he can hear the beeps as well, so you don't want to hear no, them too so much. No, so we didn't, uh, we, you know, uh, that's one thing, well, that's no, one well, thing that we no. did is that, because um, uh, Amanda wears a sort of like head, um, uh, sort of like a device on a, like yeah, a yeah. ear set. Communication um, device. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she'll hear it through there, but the alien oh, won't. Yes. However, if you're hiding, under, like I did once, if you're hiding under a table and you suddenly decide it's a smart move to crack open a Molotov, and he's literally standing over there. He'll see that flame and he'll be like, what's that? And I was like, hi, whoops, too late to throw this a drink. Uh, so yeah, um, so hiding under a table doesn't necessarily mean you're safe because if you're in his line of sight, he'll get you. Well, so far, even with the 10 minute demo that we got, it's it's absolutely, I'm pre-ordering it. As soon as I get down to game Yay. down there, I'm absolutely pre-ordering it. that shadow of that. We're all alien fans, awesome. like through and through absolutely since children. Awesome. And it's so good to see a game that's possibly going to get the, 
well, I don't know, the, the awards and everything else, the, the popularity that it deserves. Thank you for joining us. Anyway. Thank you very much. It to be out again. So it's out on October the 7th, so it's literally just over a week away. Yeah. We're really excited. And for any news at all, you can go to www.alienisolation.com. Uh, we're on Facebook forward slash Alien Isolation, Twitter at Alien Isolation, and all our trailers and videos are on YouTube, and that's forward slash Alien Isolation. There we go. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Thank you.